Hey everyone, so today I am doing a different kind of video. I'm gonna do a thrift with me video. So, I've never been thrifting before. I have gone into like a Goodwill once or twice, but really just doing like a big loop and then kind of leaving. Um, but I've really enjoyed watching these videos on YouTube. And the thing is that most people I watch who do it, either if they're my size, they're doing online thrifting at like Poshmark, ThreadUp, etc. Um, basically some kind of like resale store. Or they're a size 12. <laughs> so I'm really interested to see like what I can find at my size. So confession, I am filming my intro after having already gone to one thrift store. And I went to like the big Goodwill in my town and it's Saturday night at 7 p.m. and I thought for sure everyone else in the world has better plans than I do they can't all be like me and have no Saturday night plans well it was pretty damn busy um so part of me like is a little bit overwhelmed the aisles were very crowded there's not a plus size section I already knew that going in I knew that I'd have to kind of like go to the extra large section just keep looking and looking and looking and hoping that they had some like plus size clothes but they really didn't have very much there. In fact, most of the stuff that I saw was in plus size was around like the size 18, 20. Um, but I did see like Lane Bryant. I saw one torrid item um, and I did leave the place purchasing exactly one piece. And it's kind of embarrassing what I got. You ready? So Carrie's, whenever she goes, they have like a certain tag that's on sale. This one did not, they're all like, I bought, I bought a white tank top. I bought a white tank top for $5 because I let them round up. <sighs> they do allow returns. I kind of feel like I was like, ah, need, I just need to get something. And the dressing was really busy. I do think that white tank top actually could look re really cute. It's like a thicker white tank top. I think it'll be a little, a little bit cropped on me. Um, I need some white tank tops to go under tank tops that have like huge armholes. But five dollars for a tank top not exactly like what I would consider like a thrifting steal but anyways my town has two goodwills and a value village so both the goodwills close at eight I'm gonna go ahead and go to the second one now and try to do a better job of keeping my cool and filming because I felt a little awkward filming and then go to value village after this closes and I have zero idea what value village is like I don't know if it's any better worse We'll find out. Um, so yeah, let's go thrifting. So I did find a good bit of Lane Bryant and Tara and Sky, which is from Walmart. Also some of these like funny little like Mustang shirts and stuff that I know someone in LA could make cool, but to me just would not work. Um, they had two piece sets, pajamas, all kinds of things, um, and lots of interesting prints. <laughs> I did find the purse section kind of interesting because there were things that were like almost cute to me. Um, so for example, like they had some summery handbags that have these like bamboo um, handles, which are popular, but like the, the bamboo handle is humongous. I also thought it was funny to see this purse with the M on it because those were super popular whenever I was in high school. Everyone had to get their own letter for their first name. I feel like Goodwill and like thrifting videos are known for these unique pieces like this one with like this croc print all over it. These kind of off the wall items that people make cool. I didn't find a ton of off the wall items at Goodwill but I did at Value Village. Okay so we're here in the dressing room at the second Goodwill. I'm wearing this crop top by Leaf. Belt is by Lane Bryant. The jeans I got from Dia and Co. And I think the sandals are from SO at Kohl's. Uh, I posted on Instagram about this outfit. It was kind of out there for me. Um, but anyways, I found a good bit of items to try on. And I thought it was interesting that this dressing room had like an opening to the outside. You could see legs and like know who was in there. Freaked me out just a little bit. This first item was just a beige top, um, sweater top. 
it was cropped on me. I cannot remember the brand, but it was something in a 3X. Um, and I thought it was okay. I don't think this color looks great on me, but I do think that if this had been in the fall and I was more in the mood for this kind of top, it could have been cool. This one was another top. I again, can't remember the brand. Sorry guys. Um, and I think this was in like a 2X. I knew it was going to be tight and it was. Um, but again, everything I tended to find that day was all cropped in length. Um, or at least the stuff that I wanted to try on, but this was cute. This one is from the brand Talbot's. This was in a 24 petite, and so it was just short because it was a petite brand. I found a couple pieces from Talbot, and they were definitely the better items um, at the store. This one, I really love the color. It's a slinky material in this mauve uh, coloring, like brownish, taupey, I don't know, goodness. But it was a two-piece set, and it came with pants. Um, now the pants were like less interesting to me, uh, but I really love the top color. Um, so I actually bought this one. Surprisingly, it is from the brand city knits in a two X. Then this top was also from Talbot's. It was too tight on me to try on, but I think this was the best piece that I saw at Goodwill. Okay. So the second Goodwill worked out a lot better there were things I could try on then a lot more choices um I ran into the same people as all the other goodwill so we're all like making the circuit um so we'll see if I see them at value village I mean maybe we'll just all go shopping together um I did buy something at the other goodwill but I'll just show you that afterwards right now there's like three cars in value villages parking lot which makes my heart happy because I'd really like to be able to pull out the camera and like talk to you guys as I go through, but there's been so many people at the other ones that like I didn't feel comfortable doing that. So, fingers crossed. Let's see how Value Village is. And now, there's something in the air and a sparkly shimmer on our skin. Okay, so I did find a Torrid piece in a size 4, but this is just not something that I personally need. Um, I'm going to leave that. If this had just been daisy print, I might be into it, but I'm not loving the border. Um, and I thought this was cute. This is a size 16. It's from Kato. This fancy thing is also from Kato. Um, and I do like that so far Value Village has had like plus size actual sizing. One of the few dresses I found in my size, but not into it. I think something got left off this one. Uh, I think it's a mess up. So the first item I tried on was this palm leaf printed shirt. Um, it's definitely outside of my normal style but I thought it'd be fun to try on I see like Natalie Hage sometimes wear something like this and I tried tying it up to see if I would like it better but I don't know I feel like Ace Ventura in these kind of outfits so it was a no for me this next item was from the brand the limited in a size 3x and it fit surprisingly well like when I saw the material I thought for sure it wouldn't fit but it did fit well um I just felt like for summertime it wasn't something that I would actually reach for and there was gapping in the bust Okay, so, um, I don't know that I was successful at thrifting. Uh, I bought stuff. If that counts as successful, then I was successful. I'm not sure that it was, like, the cheapest thing I've ever bought in my life. Uh, meaning, like, I feel like I've gotten better deals at Walmart. <clears throat> at the second, uh, Goodwill, I did purchase the taupe shiny uh piece and it came with the pants i think this was six dollars and eighty cents so i spent around ten eleven dollars twelve dollars um and 
I will maybe try to style an outfit and include it in this video, but I'm also trying to get this video out pretty quickly. So it might just come up on Instagram at some point. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't even tried on the white tank top. I don't know how that fits. fits. Um, and when I went to Value Village, um, they definitely had a lot of stuff and that was nice. Like they had a lot of stuff to look through. Um, they had more stuff in the higher ranges, but a lot of it was either homemade or like really old, like 90s, early 2000s pieces. And um, so people that are looking for actual vintage and or unique kind of weird stuff, Value Village might be the place, you know, to go. Um, whereas, I mean, honestly, even Goodwill didn't have like any kind of new, new stuff. Um, I'm kind of curious about whether Goodwill, like I went to the Goodwill in a suburb of Charlotte. I'd be interested in going in Charlotte, interested in going to like the richer places in Charlotte and seeing if their Goodwill is different. Um, and then I'd also be interested in going to like just consignment stores, you know, women who are putting their clothes forward to like earn some money because I feel like that's probably where you're going to find the better um, items. Like I just feel like a lot of the items I tried on were very cheap and I'm guessing it's because a lot of the stuff was just donations, you know, it's people that feel like there's, there's no value in it for them besides a the donation, whereas consignment, the people feel like there is a value in it, um, and they'll earn something from it. So, uh, thrifting at a size 26, 28, can it be done? Yes, I did see jeans in a size 26, I saw some skirts in a size 26, 28. You can accumulate pieces in those sizes, uh, it really, like, you have to be very flexible with your style. Um, and that's probably not like where I'm at at the moment, but it can be done and it can be done in a small town. I did it. I did it. Um, but yeah, so I'm really interested to hear what you think. Like, A, I don't feel like I filmed this very well. You know, sometimes you try new things and you just kind of like go with it. But also Value Village was the only one that didn't have a lot of people. So I was able to a little bit kind of stop, um, and show you things. But, yeah, interested to hear what you think. Interested to hear if you go thrifting, what you do. I have a friend um, named Ashley Carter who I met at Fat Camp last year. Again, Fat Camp is a body positive camp. Um, and she goes thrifting all the time in Greensboro. And she said something about going with her sometimes. So that would be, like, really fun. Um, and she knows, like, more spots, you know, that she goes to. But I think it could be cool to, like, look at consignment stores in Charlotte and see how they go. Um... I know Kelly B is always talking about taking her stuff to Buffalo Exchange. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how many Kelly B's live in Charlotte, you know, taking their bags and bags of cute stuff to Buffalo Exchange, but I'd be interested in, in finding what is there. Okay guys, so it's editing Rebecca here, and this is where I styled the pieces. So with the tank, I mean, it's just a white tank. You can do so many different things with this, but what I like about this tank is, like I said, it's ribbed and it's a little bit more structured than a typical tank. I get a lot of stretchy tanks from Old Navy that just like lose their shape throughout the day. So I think this tank is actually perfect to tuck into a shirt and know that it's not gonna like slowly drag down as the day goes by. I put this with some shorts I got from Dia & Co. And then this kimono that I purchased a couple years ago from Amazon. I believe it's still on there. And the sandals are from Kato's. I've featured those in a video before. And this is just like, you know, a really simple outfit. But I like the high neckline of the tank top. And I also like that it has a dart in the chest area, which just gives it a really good shape. The armholes are nice and high. I think I actually like this piece a lot. And for your viewing pleasure, I included a very embarrassing shot of me wearing the two-piece set that I bought. Um, two-piece sets are kind of nice because you pay a smaller price for two items. And they are technically, like, meant to be worn together. But I would not wear these items together unless I was around the house because they are super comfortable. And honestly, I wouldn't wear the pants at all um, except for around the house. And it is, like, a shimmery top. So I wanted to show that in that little clip. I paired this with a black maxi skirt. This one is pleated um, from LuLaRoe. And then I also paired it with kind of like this burnished gold chain necklace and some studs. I like that the shirt can be a little bit more of like a looser fit. And because it's shiny, I just think it's important that the, whatever skirt you pick isn't like a flat um, fabric, that it has almost a slight either amount of sheen to it or just isn't like um, a fabric that gets brushed up a lot. Um, so that is what I paired this item with. So anyways, I will talk to you later. 
bye